This is the courtyard at the Imam Reza Shrine Complex. They're on the train from Tehran to Shiraz and we're getting settled in. It's a little bit older than the one we were on last time from Mashhad, I think, but pretty similar. Lovely, nice tea set. And we've got our snacks for the, for the journey. Some chips or crisps and some biscuits. That cost, what did that cost, Mandy? Do you remember? 70,000 real, so a grand total of 70 Australian cents 70 for cents, yeah. a pack of the crisps and a packet of biscuits. We're all set up for the evening. <laughs> we've eaten already, but there's just some snacks until before we go to bed. So we were actually in seats uh, three and four down the other end of the train, but the technician told us that they're his seats and he's moved us up to another carriage, so another compartment. Yeah. Now that's going to go. This is going to be my bed up here. Pull that down when we're ready. Yeah, put that one ready, and then that's Lee's bed yeah, here. Oh, and here's our. Oh, oh, oh pomegranate. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so kind. Mamnoon. Just walked through the train, come to carriage one, and. It's the female's carriage. No men allowed. I went through, I was expecting to see all of the ladies without the headdresses on, without the hijab, but they were all still dressed with the hijab and the, the jackets, the manteau. Yep, okay. Um, it's a video actually, so oh, go okay. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how what you do with the dizzy. You tip the dizzy into the bowl. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and then you mash it. Yeah. So this is really hot, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so beans in there and meat, I think, yeah? <laughs> Do you want me to hold it with this? Wow. <laughs> It's like a two-person job. <laughs> At least two persons. Yeah, so you have to earn your dinner, you know? You work hard and then you're ready to eat. <laughs> I'm so excited we're finally eating dizzy. We just took the liquid out of that pot that Lee's holding with the tongs. Yeah. Took the liquid into there. We're going to break the bread into it. Yeah. We've mashed the solids and we're going to have a delicious meal. Being around, it's a bit random, so things have a little cup. Uh, we're just trying to get a bowl and some extra things to finish off the job. And we're ready to eat. So excited. <laughs> Excellent, which is with pomegranate and walnut. Meat and something. Yeah. That looks amazing. Yeah. Mm, can't wait. <laughs> These are the Towers of Silence in the desert just outside Yazd city. Zoroastrian towers where they brought the dead for sky burials and they would uh, leave the corpses on top of these towers here for the vultures to pick clean so the bodies would remain pure and then the bones would go into these holes 
to be disposed of. There are two towers on this site. You can see we're on the desert on the edge of the city, which is behind us there. The city's grown. These used to be out in the middle of nowhere, and now they're on the edge of the city, so they're not used anymore. They stopped sky burials here in the 1960s, and that's the other tower there. Uh, yes, Karen yeah. Village. Yeah. Abandoned, earthquake damaged. Quite beautiful, is it really? Yeah, yes. One of the rooftops of Karanak Village. The new town was to the left. And this is the old destroyed town, which the earthquake destroyed. The mountains and the irrigated fields below. <laughs> and here we've come to check check um, on a mountain in the desert this place is a important well the most holy Zoroastrian shrine in the world the Zoroastrian faith um, is still strong here in Iran and the temple here this is where the pilgrims stay and the temple is in this cliff behind the tree here where water drips down it's a holy place for Zoroastrians to come and take their pilgrimage. And this is Naran Castle in Maybod, 800 years old. And it's supposed to date back 6,000 years in habitation here, which is quite incredible. Inside the incredible 400 year old conical ice house, which is where they made ice cubes and stored them in the bottom of this pit. And in the desert, they had ice throughout the summer. Amazing. This is the pigeon house, a 400 year old tower built to house 8,000 pigeons so they could harvest pigeon poop. Why not? It's amazing what can be built. Now in the salt flats in the desert near Tabazane, this used to be the floor of a lake 12,000 years ago. Climbing a sand dune for the sunset on our way up to the top. Isfahan. Got that a bit wrong. Yeah, it's quite a climb and uh, it's going to our heads, but great when it's up there. When we're up there, oh dear.